In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. In mind, Joel can't control where the movies begin or end Because he used those special parts to make his robot friends Robot, cool, cool, cabot, gypsy, dumb servo, cool See, this is a Dutch Navy rod to kind of give you the service. Oh, jeez, like oh, 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 hi. Boy, it's really a hairy day. I got a load of laundry, and I just got done giving the robots a bath, and I'm about to put them down. Ah, no. Then I got to clean up the load pan bay. Uh, servo messed it up. No, no, it was both of us. We were having sword fights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bug yet? Oh, stop it. You guys oh, just gotta it. take it easy. Would you take it easy? Stupid. You're just overtired. Not bad. Right? You're just signing 10 seconds. I don't want to hear another peep out of you two, all right? Commercial sign in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> all right, that's <laughs> it. That's Great it. Nice one. Nice one. I know you are, but what am I? Ah, you're another one. I know you are, but what am I? You're dumb. Baby, listen, baby, you're, listen. You're, you guys better stop it or I'm going to give you both a time out, okay? Uh, How's Joel, that make you feel? Joel, you, you said we could stay up for the movie. Yeah, that's what we're designed for. Yeah. Listen, okay, if you're really, really good, you can stay up for the movie, okay? Okay, we'll be really good. Yeah, we promise. Okay, now look ah. sharp. The mad scientists are calling, all right? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, uh, now do you have that, that prism lens effect, that fly eye thing we talked about? about, uh, you know, like at the begin beginning of Family Affair, that, that kind of thing. We'll do that here, all right? Well, Joel, we're just tidying up down here a bit. Uh, let's get right to the invention exchange this week. What do you say? Have at it. We're going to watch the movie. we got to watch hey, the movie. Hey, come on. Cut it out, you Yay. guys. I want you to go turn out the lights, you spinach chins. I want to show them Gretchen the slinky, okay? That's better. Well, I, some exciting things have been going on here in the satellite of love. I realized that if you gave the right chemical bath to a slinky and then exposed it to some ultraviolet light, some interesting things would happen. I want to show you Gretchen the slinky. Hey, Gretchen, wake up. Come on. Yeah, there you go. See? She's doing really good. Yeah, that's right. She likes to be around people. Come on. Hey, come on. You want something to eat here? I got some, I got some uh, carpet for you. You like carpet, don't you? You don't like, oh, come on, have some carpet. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, she loves carpet. You want some more? Come on, there's some more there. Finish it up. Okay, now let's show them what slinkies do when they sleep, okay? I'm going to put you, show you how, they, how you sleep, okay? Just hang you up right this. See, they, they rock themselves like that, okay? All right, and do one last thing for them, Gretchen, okay? All right, I want you to do one last thing. I want you to do your impression of the 60s, okay? On the count of three, all right? One, two, three. Do your impression of the 60s. That's good, all right, cool. That is adorable. I wish I had one of those. Uh, must be kind of hard to take care of, I bet. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid once, I had this slinky, I put it on the escalator. Frank! <laughs> oh, here comes Dr. Forrester now with his invention. Well, Joel, this invention is based on the old slinky train toy I had as a kid. It allows me to be in two places at once, connected by the special bio-tube. Well, it's, it's much too complicated. It would take a scientist to explain it, and I'm simply too mad. Well, what do you think, Joel? Hey, you guys are always stealing my ideas. We're monitoring your mind, Joel. Besides, in space, 
No one can hear you sue. <laughs> Tell them, Frank. <laughs> That's right. We're evil. Evil! Those are just the most delightful little cute creatures. I want one like that. I want a little critter just like that. I'm going to go to the Hasbro Humane Society. Frank! Huh? Your movie this week, Joel, is not a science fiction film, but it's perfect for our experiments. <laughs> it's just bad. Tell him, Frank. That's right. It's a diabolical cinematic... It's just bad. Yes. Remember that bad thing we saw? This is even it's, worse than that. It's that's bad. That's right. It's... Bad. But it's our kind of bad. It's, it's a, a good bad. It's bad. It's good for us. Really bad, bad for you, Joel. Oh, Man, those scientists are always trying to rip me off. Oh, cheaters. Uh, this, this is going to be hard to watch. Postage Stamp Theater presents... Hey, they shot this with a 3mm camera. <laughs> I'd like to shoot them with a 3mm howitzer. Bigger! Side it's hackers. got to be bigger! Is that what happens when a guy spits out of the side of his mouth? I think it's computer freak. It's a science animal that works. <laughs> Oh, great. I love orange soda. I liked it when they used to shoot movies in Orange Julius stuff. Well, they can't be that good. Look, they need training wheels. Hey, the scientists must be showing us ESPN. Maybe they'll show kickboxing from the Philippines. Tonight's episode, Bicycle Built for Death. Baby, can you drive my murder? These boats were made for arson. Two-wheeler, four-wheeler, dead-wheeler. Easy rider, easy dead. Tonight, Act One, with very special guest, Ross Hagen. And J.C. Hoffenthopper, Travison Toosler. <laughs> Snazzy track. Can you get at the pretty? Filmed in long torso vision. Hey, Dean Tessier Judge. Hey, the whole Tessier clan got in on this. Yep. You know, now that side hacking is so big, it's really interesting to see its humble origin. Based on the award-winning stage play by Lillian Hellman. <laughs> Director of Luriness, John Hall, and Daryl Oates. <laughs> hey, check the map, will ya? Why me? Why me all the time? Hmm, Pat Somerset Mom. That's what Noel Coward used to do. <laughs> and the Mike Curb Congregation. Hey. And the rest. Art Director Lee Foster. Assistant cameraman Vince Dyslexic. Assistant script supervisor Eddie Glaucoma. Music editor, uh, can't read it. Hey, let me up there. There's no way to kill hemorrhoids. <laughs> My dog used to do that on the driveway. Oh, 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 He was in Porgy and Bass. No one's legs were ground off in the making of this film. I lost my contact. Help me. Help, I'm side hacking and I can't get up. I'm having butt pains. Oh, we'll be right there, Mr. Stuffy. It's like John Hall again. So that's how Ross Hagen got in the film. He slept with the producer. <laughs> hey, it's Hunter S. Thompson. I didn't know side hacking was so gonzo. Yeah. The winner's circle full of burning tires. 
Okay, it used to be a renaissance festival as far as the eye can see. Undercooked pork by Gus Trichinosis. Come on, let's go. Meanwhile, in another movie... Hey, they're film filming a Kotex at... I'm a... <laughs> I can't say Kotex, I'm a robot. <laughs> Let's check in and see what the Gatsby's are doing. Last one to the montage is a rotten egg, huh? Let's walk ankle deep in filth. So, what's so bad about feeling good? Hey, woman. Haircut by Chad Everett. No. No. <laughs> you little tigress. <laughs> they look like they're filming a Star Trek episode. Help me, Kirk. Help me. I am Tirok. Oh, life is good, isn't it? Our love is hey, clean love. After we're married, I still want this. What, this tree? What do you mean? And I'll be in out here where no one can bug us. Just you and me. Oh, yeah. I love that idea, too. Yeah. Hey, uh, we think alike, don't we? We both share a brain. Uh-huh. Hey, come on. I'm gonna break your shin, you little tigress. <laughs> Hey, Joel, where do you suppose these guys are working now that cigarette ads are illegal? I don't know. Maybe they're uh, working on PM Magazine. Oh. Drama? Get Remember when we were making right a now. film called Side Hackers? Let's see. Uh, you forgot your socks? No, silly, my underwear. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you blew your nose. <laughs> no, come on. Okay, what is it? Uh, David McCallum's coming over for dinner. Yep. I'm thinking that you're the most beautiful man in the whole world. I'm Come thinking on. you're Maybe right. Beautiful. Well, you are. Yeah. I can see why, honey. You got good taste. taste good too, but your lips are drug. <laughs> hey, I'm tripping. No, I'm really tripping. Ouch, ouch, there's a protector in my pocket. Mr. Blending us out, uh, and then we got the rule in the pot. I'm sorry about my hand, lady. Lady, oh, 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 oh come this on, is Jerry. Morgan, Haney, oh, cut that out, Jerry, and get so off. Sorry me. about the, 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 the pods and the keys. Oh, it's, it's me on the McGrath. Best rule in my hair I ever had. <laughs> oh, 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 lady, oh, you are, oh. oh. Even this grass is, is, it's drunk! Had enough to eat? Yeah, I grazed enough, thank you. I guess we should talk now. But not of you. Hmm. Now do that tiger noise That's again. Good. Growl. Uh, love is yeah, good. Love sure is is. Good. Mm, grub, think love thing. good. Wanna guess what it is? Uh, uh, Nintendo? Bunny? All I do is guess Fuel injection? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, a new car. Next one. No. You got two more guesses. Pass. Uh, sweater, Pass. pants, shirt, socks, Come underwear. Come on, that's more than mm -hmm, two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, what is it? It's a lock. Oh. What? Hmm? You heard me. A lock. A lock, you know, little fish. You eat them on bagels. Now, what am I going to do with that? what I'm going to do with it. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> I see. What's that? I want you to wear it, okay? In your supper. Okay. <laughs> hey, Lou. So she gave me this lock like an engagement ring. See? So you had a good time yesterday, huh? <laughs> yeah, sorry that you and Lois couldn't make it. Hey, why don't you shut off you that motorcycle so we Besides, can talk? You really should have some time to yourself. But see what I mean when the kids start coming? Yeah, it's funny. We talked about that yesterday. Yeah. You sound like me when I was about to take the big step. Yeah, what do you mean? Asking yourself a hundred point question. Can you open the garage door? Well, it's a big move Remember in a man's life. we used life. to be smart? When you finally do it, it won't seem so big. Yeah, maybe. You ever see me look so happy? Yeah, huh? but you didn't know I was well, watching I, you. Uh, I've never seen you looking so fat. Fat? Look. Yeah, I gotta start watching that. <laughs> well, family life's too easy. It makes a man soft. 
<laughs> you know what you gotta do, Luke? Get out more, exercise. Exercise? Yeah. Well, I may be soft, but I'm still... Stupid. Fast! Whoa! Hello! Hello! Time for the main event. What can we do for you? Hey, it's Dick Sean. I got a bike need some repairing. Uh, if you're not in a big hurry... Hey, boss, that's airplane green. We got a couple ahead of you. Well, I got an exhibition in Frisco in two and weeks. Then you won't be needing you those you clothes. you have it ready by then? Let's have a look. Outside, in the truck. Why, are you coming on to me? Hmm? So, this must be what they call a garage. Cookie. It's a mm. nice job you've got here. Sweet. Well, uh, thanks. The way J.C. rides, he can keep you in steady business. Oh? What do you mean? Exhibition riding, fairs, rodeos. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, you know. You can make a bike do anything. Yeah. In fact, I'm a bike. I didn't get your name. Rommel. Oh, hey. you magnificent son of a bitch. Yeah, I read your book. Nope. You got a cigarette? Got a dopey hat? Nope. <laughs> I think you that's sure funny. don't have much to say, do you? Nope. Nope. You trying to say something? Nope. 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 Hey, Slate! Yes. It looks like Bud Freeman. I hope he doesn't try to hug everybody. What's with the uh, training wheels? <laughs> it's called a side hat. We built a whole movie around it. We had to pad out that first scene with the meadow, though. What's it for? We use it for racing. You have a pilot and a passenger. It's up to the passenger to balance out the bike on corners. Teamwork. I see. The guy rides hanging onto this bar here. Oh. What are you riding? Well, uh, we're having some trials this weekend. Hey, this whole movie is a trial, trial all right? <laughs> <laughs> Side hack, huh? I like it. We can have it ready for you by the middle of next week. Middle of the week, huh? You told me two weeks, Nero. What are you, an idiot or something? Hey. Oh, you want to give me ah! some time to think about that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, uh, no. We'll see you next weekend. This side act thing, I will see. I will see it! Me too. Me three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, weird little guy, wasn't he? Maybe you'll let me call him Little Buddy. You invite him out? Yep. Sure, I swing. Both ways? I thought you left that all behind when you bought the shop. Oh, uh, look, sometimes you talk like an old man. Left all what behind? Trouble. Right here in now, River City. what do you City. mean by that? Well, capital check. T rhymes with C, stands for chick. So what? So that's no situation to get yourself into. He's bad news. And that's his old lady. They're all nuts. They the spend half the their time calling fairs and rodeos, and another half blowing their minds. Oh, oh, now, wait wow. a minute. Wait a minute. The little lady comes in here and starts throwing her butt around. Now, what am I supposed to do? Run in the corner and hide or something? Get out they of the way of the butt. You weren't looking at it. All right, forget I said anything. All right, I will. They come in here and they want to give us some business, right? Fine, but she's going to want some business, too. Okay, but it's not too bad, is it? So-so. That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Third, Third base. So-so. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. You may be married, Luke, but your eyes aren't. Guess who? Uh, are you known for your work Hi. in the theater? All right. Hey, oh, really nice today. Honey, do you have some money? The kids need new shoes. Oh, man, if it's not Shall one thing, it's money? another around here. Please Next, you'll be now. throwing money at food and clothing. Oh, ten bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Pick me up a dime bag of those okay. <laughs> shoes. <Goodbye>. Colombian shoes. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Thanks. Kiss by lunch every day. Well, it was a tongue sandwich. You got it made, Luke. It's okay, your turn's coming. Huh? Yeah, you want to go eat? Hey, that's my lunch. Interesting. Very interesting. But stupid. Uh, <laughs> how much racing have you done? Not a little. That's what I like about you. 
Just give him enough to make him wonder. That's right. Hey, JC, uh, where's your next move after Frisco? Who knows? East, maybe. Thanks for littering. Gadwood. Welcome to the Women of California Hack Race Competition. A new and exciting sport. Filled with thrills and spills, such as you've never seen before. And you the won't see now. Up now and we're about Why, to come start. on, hurry up, the film is slow enough. On hack number 14, pilot Stan Shara. Shara, that is. And passenger Dennis Woolley. And on number five, Steve Camp and his passenger, Jerry Mahoney. Jerry How does she make herself Fighting look hack like number 15, Our pilot Woody Splinter and passenger Vince Rump. Who is, I might add? No newcomer to this thrilling new sport. No Watch newcomer to this new sport? Next Isn't that an oxymoron? That's Doug Bingham. Known as Der Bingo. Hey, uh, Jim Hutton. A couple of very good hackers. Wayne Kestamon and Pat Shinbone's a muffin. Number 31. We have Jim Moffat and Whitey Hope. Randy Fowler. Number one. Ali Fox. Whitey Ford. Sandy Colfax. And on hack number seven, Crash Roach and his passenger, Jim McNeil. Be great. Lefty Lemon. Engine Orange. Jolly Jolly Orange. Loudmouth Lunch. Choo Choo Cherry. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm sissy. And they have no lights! Yeah. 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 Hold me. Please hold me, D. Oh, come on, Jerry. Hey, that announcer is way too excited for his own good. Or ours. Pace yourself. Oh, ham. And the perma crowd is in position. A good spread over the jumps, which the boys dig. It makes the jump safe. Jade, stop this crazy thing! I'm gonna throw up! Uh oh, look out! Five and sixty. Indy, throw me the whip! Throw me the idol! The whip! The idol! All right, something else is happening now. Remember that other thing I told you about? It's happening again. Oh no! Now something, some kind of stuff that's different, kind of different, but it's the same kind of similar stuff happening in a way. But look at that! Some more stuff's happening involving motorcycles and a whole lot of dust. This fight is so new, we don't even have the terminology yet. Oh. Around the clubhouse turn, there's apartment house with plenty of room. Girdle holds on in the stretch, and pulling up the rear is Beetle Bomb. I like my man best. Mine's better. There's the team from Foot Locker. With one more left to go, 15 has moved up to the second place. Just leave! Come on, get back in the frame. You over there, back in the frame. Come on, get in here, get in here. Good one, Cambot. Nice effect. Whoa! For you folks at home, this might be a good time to go get a sandwich. Hey! You should have gone before we left. Come on, we only live through your achievements, please! Well, we better get out of here. Thank Bob Crane for being the flag man there. All right, well, we got a really neat treat for you guys. We worked on some heavy charts about side hacking. Cambot, I want you to run that race footage in there on the uh, chroma key. Okay, you guys, vamp. Yeah, I'm trapped up in outer space. 
Sometimes my life feels like a big pile of nothing. So what? Word. I live with it. Dig it. But anyway, we in my blood should like to wail out a song about our friends, the side hackers. It goes like this. Side hacking is the thing to do when it doesn't hurt to have a low IQ. Take your life, your life, and a little love. Big brand prize is 25 bucks. Side hack will quench your danger thirst. The stupid ones always seem to come in first. Yeah. Side hacking is one big bash. The favorite sport of cheap white trash. When you're on your side hack, make sure you don't slip. You'll end up with five metal pins in your hip. Lean way back till you scrape your butt. Make it look like a quarter pound of ground chuck. Yeah, oh, side hack it crow. Some sport that attracts a lot of racing fools. A lot of people get hurt cause there are no rules. All you need is a toxic landfill. A cycle and a sidecar and an urge to kill. Better get with the sport cause it won't last long. The founders of the sport are laid at forest lawn. them on that corner, I guess that'll bend them out of shape for a while. See, I like this side hack bit. You join me on the circuit. I got some idea how to put this into my act. But you you gotta build the drama. See, that's what you gotta do. You gotta make it look harder. All right, I'll wear a porcupine costume. Hey, you wanna try it? You're on. <laughs> Well, it was about this time the old Duke boys decided to show old Boss Hog what side hacking was all about. So you hurl him on the ground and do si do and make him sing like a soprano. Side hack. Yeah. All right. Then you fall off the bike flat on your ass and you fill your butt full of prairie grass. You stick your can up in the air and show us your can like you don't care. Side hack, everybody. Swing your side hack. Let's go, Batman. <laughs> well, you grab JC and you swing him around, you put him on the side hack, throw him down. Side hack, come on now. Let's hear it for Mr. Humility there. Whoa! Looks like a great place to side hack, doesn't it? This is where cows side hack it. Well. Thanks, folks. I'll be here all week. Tip the waitress, enjoy the buffet. More the same. Mm. And this is my country estate. I also keep a trailer home in the city. <laughs> we really are having some fun, aren't we? It's time for some international coffee. What a trip! Orange cappuccino? Hey, did you hire an after dinner speaker? A groovy place. How'd you get it? Uh, Luke and I bought it. We're gonna live here after we're married. A little love day. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. It well, let's really not patronize them or anything. Isn't it a beautiful place, honey? Yeah, it is. She's so articulate. You're mm. joining the establishment. And the establishment is the plastic, civil. man. Yep. Come on, Rommel. Why don't you and your old lady ride with us, huh? We can make a lot of money on the circuit. Hey, let me get you up here. Huh? Take those huh? Yeah, it looks like they're drinking motor oil. Oh, you should never drink 10W30 in the summer. Alone when they're with JC. Hey, JC, I need to ask you something. What are you bugging me for? Whoa. Say. He's to me no harm. Switch to decaf. Hands off me. Oh, real. Shut up. Shut up. Touching me like that. Whew. 
Well, uh, he really sucked the air out of that room, didn't he? Well, bean dip anyone? <laughs> Let's kiss. By hurting others, our love grows stronger. That was fun. Just doesn't want to, JC. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. What do you mean? Doesn't want to. Let's see. Does not want to. Which word didn't you understand? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie face. I beg you, man. It's your choice. Yeah, it is my choice, and I don't want to. Sorry. Bye now. <laughs> Apple today. Come on. Let's go. Hey, but I haven't had any seven-layer salad. Would you get out of here? Well, thanks for coming. Now stay out. Jeez, what does Martha Stewart say about times like this? Wait, that's for the drug test. No! Oh, darn. Uh, really didn't go too good, did it? <laughs> Is there any intelligence in that head of yours? Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. You asked me that once before. I know. Whoopi. Goldberg. <laughs> One minute accomplishment in a day is dealing with idiots. Now, if you can answer me this one. Uh-huh. Riddle me this. Simple question. Yeah. School will be out for the day. Mm, is this going to be on the final? Attention! If you came with me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why shouldn't Rommel come with me? Because uh, uh, he's not your girlfriend? Hey, baby. You were my meal ticket out of that town. What's with this meal ticket Chicago? bit? I saved you from a life of nothing. I bet you'd like to believe that. I, I don't know what I saw in you in the first place. It would have been a lot more exciting to take the bus. Yeah, but then you'd have to sit next to <laughs> the stinky guy. Oh, man, you should have seen yourself being drug around. Rommel had you looking like an overstuffed Polish sausage. <laughs> but I am a Thuringer. <laughs> I am nothing but a little boy, JC. You disappoint me all the way around. <clears throat> I never disappointed you in bed. <laughs> <laughs> really? Mm. Don't walk away when I'm talking to you, Pays. Get your hands off me. Oh, you, you damn what? dirty ape. Scream for a lover boy. Go ahead, scream. I want to hear you scream. Scream! Please, JC. No, we please. have to watch this. Until you scream. Please. Now, scream! What a creep. Help. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. oh, oh, that's hey. it. That's no. it. Piss no. oh, boy. Your mind, Pays. You hear me, baby? Mine. <laughs> Every mother of an inch of you. But Anybody I can't touched breathe. you, I'd kill a pig. That's how much I love you, baby. Oh, I guess he really does love her. <laughs> kind of kisses like a dog. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. We're a team, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm punching your We're Judy. A team. <laughs> I'll prove it. Try some of my forbidden fruit. Come on. An apple a day. It's set Ooh. three o'clock. It's quarter Good thing he's using that mask to protect his scalp. I can't get this spark little light, like, Hal. Peter? No lips, He'll really sir. go when he gets Supplies to the gas tank. Okay. <laughs> hey, Rommel, you like those chili peppers that Lois gets? Yeah, yeah, but they burn my gut. Yeah, I like this movie. Well, I think that's what Rita and Lois are making for dinner tonight. <laughs> How come every time we go to the ranch, Luke, we gotta have the chili peppers? Why not hamburgers? You know I love hamburgers. Less talk, more move. Hey, what's the director doing here? Mm -hmm. Get ready. Good. Now open the garage door. It's showtime. How much? 32 bucks. Well, this is a cheap movie. Hey, Luke, did you pick up those parts for the Harley yet? I'll get them now. You want a sandwich? Yeah, one with everything on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That refrigerator's been everywhere. And so has she. Mm. Hi. Ah, uh, well, yes I am. I'm on a ladder. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Better than you. Where's your buddy? Kind of personal, oh, isn't it? Oh, he went for some parts. 
Oh? What's up? I just thought I'd stop by and see if you've changed your mind. Running errands for the old man, huh? You might call it that. I call it codependency. It's just that he doesn't mm. like being turned down. Yeah, well, uh, life's full of little rejections. You know, like my rejection from Simon yeah. & Schuster, my book. I know what you mean. I read your book, You Magnificent... <coughs> Can you use some help over there? Oh, uh, yeah, you could button uh, it. Yeah, hand me that box there. Now, quack like a duck. Oh. Here, let me get it. I had fun yesterday. You were great. Thanks. You know, JC's not bad. A little funny, but uh, not bad. He's no Gallagher Promo. or anything. You magnificent yeah. son of a, a, you know. Do you like me? Well, sure, I like everybody. I even like Gallagher for crying. And why do you back off when I try to get close to you? There's a ladder in the way. About? Back off. You know, I can't get to you. There's a ladder Supposed in the right? way. Why not? Now, look, baby, you got a man, right? Maybe I'd like a change. Maybe she's got a saggy diaper that leaks. Yeah, so uh, what do you want me to do about it? I thought maybe you knew someone. You Look, Basil, you go on home and grow up. You know, that's the nice thing about a little girl. If they're lucky, they can grow up to be women. You bastard. I'm more of a woman than you'll ever know, you son of a bitch. Uh, that's a uh, magnificent son of a bitch. What's she up to? I don't know. I just yeah, don't get girls. Hey, I asked for a bagel and a schmear. Oh, What's on, this? Don't give me no philosophy, huh? Okay. Hey, this is bike I want you to take a look at. Hey, I gotta take the fridge to the airport. Uh, you need anything? It's right outside here. Hey, Nero, you got problems? Yeah, Rome's burning. I was burning. on my way out of town when misfortune struck me. And I think I've blown the internal combustion off my head. Huh? What are you that saying? That is a problem. Huh? Yes, sir, indeed it is. Uh, got to thinking about that word we discussed. If the offer's still open. Yeah, I uh, think we can uh, work it out for you. Sure. <laughs> Turns out they really wanted Nancy Sinatra for this girl. Maybe my boots were made for walking right off the set. But then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. <laughs> I feel like I'm time tripping. That Buffy girl got to stand next to Jim Hutton look alike. <laughs> I remember it all. I remember the way he used to snap his jacket off on me. <laughs> and I remember that too. Oh, but that's worse. You go on home and grow up. That's the I nice remember, thing about a little girl. Remember the way Rama like insulted me? Grow up the way JC made me cough up blood? Anybody they can't take you, those precious memories I'd away from me. <laughs> take that, Nancy Sinatra. <laughs> Hey, uh, Luke. What? All done in there? I was wondering if uh, you and Lois and the kids were going to stay at the ranch tonight after we ate dinner. Well, we were thinking about it. Why? Well, no, no, I was just wondering. Uh, turn it up. <sighs> what were you wondering? Oh, just wondering. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Mm. Mm. You and Rita want to stay out by yourselves tonight? Bingo! <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's a good idea. Kind of in my mind. <laughs> you uh, sure you don't mind? No problem. Thanks. Nope. Don't mind at all. You're just gonna sit out there and relax tonight, huh? This is kind of looking like 30 something. <laughs> yeah, except for the dirty fire. pictures in the background. Fire. Yep. Uh -huh. Then. Yeah, I'm going to put my arm around it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, like I said, you and Rita should have some time to yourselves. <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know you're right, Luke. Yeah, uh -huh. I need some more time. Yeah, time. time. <laughs> then what? Oh, you know. I'm going to give her a kiss. Peace. <laughs> 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 You sure you want a hundred That's a lovely dress she's wearing. <laughs> How do you plan to have a hundred kids? Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. like this. What? 
No, there's really a ton of change in this mattress. Mm. You can take care of them all. Huh? Nice vaccination scar. It's Rod Stewart and Kim Carnes in Laryngitis Theater. Nah, Ricky, the ceiling needs painting. Ah. You still love me? This guy's really got a hairy back. Yikes. Look, he's kissing himself now. Why? I just imagined you at 90, and I don't think I could do this anymore. <laughs> good. Take a big drink out of life. Sounds like the start of a side hack film. Sounds like they're sharing the same larynx. <laughs> Throw cool water on Batman. <laughs> <laughs> like she's laying on a lamp. Hello, Hello, Cheryl. Hello. 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 What happened? Lama. Oh, I know where he is. Algeria. I heard him tell his buddy he was going to the cabin where we had the party. Gooch, stay with her. You guys come with me. Isn't it Gooch? I really love this place. Yeah, nice place. Uh -huh. yeah. After we get married, I'm going to fix it up. Mm -hmm. What really needs is a woman's touch. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. what I, like I care, yeah. I want to stain the walls. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe give it a fresh, clean look. Oh, yeah, we're stained. stained. And get blue draperies to match my new blue mm -hmm. couch. Yeah, you know what I can do in that? It'll cost a fortune. Uh, and throw rugs. Throw all over the place. Yeah, I'd throw up on those throw Maybe rocks, yeah. A couple of new lamps, huh? Yeah, like the ones you were laying on for, yeah. Let me just take my wallet. I'll pick fresh flowers every day. Lilies. Yeah, yeah, really, uh, Good idea. Some of the women's lives I got it. I think I'm being silly. You desert fox, you. I love you, Ron. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right. Sure, whatever. I love you. Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, we better get out of here. I'm tired. Yeah. Time's up, lover boy. Get him. Joel, what happened? Where'd the side hacking go? Yeah, where'd it go? We liked it. Well, you guys got to understand, it's really hard to get a new sport going. It's hard to get the recognition that other sports enjoy. Can you name a few? Uh, kickboxing from the Philippines, uh, tape measure racing. Uh, and uh, computations and Australian rules football. Right, and what do all these sports have in common that side hacking does not? A rudimentary interest factor. A sense of fair play. A small measure of self-esteem. Yeah. Right, these are all really good answers. But Thank the thing you. I was looking for was terminology. It's impossible to have play-by-play -play or color commentary without it. So. Let's put our heads together and come up with some terminology that showcases some of the really exciting moves in our sport, side hacking. Cambot, roll that footage. It looks like the Wesley brothers out of John Harding starting things briskly with the Fuller Brush Man and a Rumpelstiltskins followed through with a teenage co-ed prison. Out of Wausau representing Wisconsin, Mitch and Pitch performing the now famous Yank Me Crank Me. That bright young team, the Allentown Poodles with their rendition of the Swirly. Oh no, could that have been the Gunk Out Crow? 
Thanks, Joel. I think that was more of a spinning love funnel from those fresh-faced kids of Kankakee Community College. Oh, my goodness, it's a linebacker slow burn and a hop skip and a go lame with a fintuzler and an itchy gorilla! An itchy gorilla! Uh-oh, here comes the big blue flamer, followed by T-Time Richard Scary, the full-tilt bozo crazy, and just plain stupid. It's an exciting day indeed here at Japanese War Atrocity Park and Pavilion on the Park, but what's this? Is, is that the antiquated old puff of Baba O'Reilly attempting the teenage wasteland on the Haiti Heidi ho side of the track? From the darker side of the street come the Cap Snapper, Maynard and Eleanor, Casey's Rolling Pizza, and just imagine. Meet you on the dark side of the moon. It's the ghostly trio followed by No-Tell Motel, Asper Cream, and Death by Chocolate. Oh, oh, hold on to your epidermis. It's Deputy Dog and the hard-drinking soldiers of fortune attempting the off-copy to leaky cheese. Shake me to wake me, Crow. Looks like Batman and the costume critters of death are going crinkle-cut and somebody's got to pay. But, uh, oh, funny ha ha funny strange with the Batman until screaming, hey, world, check me out. Hand me a Hoover. It's Raspberry Kami, the fruitful snootful and hickory dickory die attempting a butterscotch push with a frunky frunky frunky. Ho ho ho, is that Go-Go the Gorilla with bloopers, blunders, and practical jokes with starchy cock of the walk and their fin toozler. There's Electro Woman and Dinah Girl and the George Barris custom show rod, bravely attempting the big guy with a Tommy Toon on the side. I've got to correct you on that, Crow. I think he's attempting the stinky guy with a Peter Allen. Uh-oh, that means he'll be disqualified and slapped with a day in the life of even Denisovich. That could be a problem for our Quentin Crisp, who's expected to go over a fighting iron of its brother or a god your helmet smells good. Uh oh, here comes Nutsy, the side hacking clown performing his famous tension envelope routine. Don't get too close cause remember kids, he who smelt it dealt it. Let's give him a round of applause as we all pardon his blooper. Well, it's been a big day with plenty of sheer gut blowouts, Juicy Lucy's and a woozle whose name was Peanut. This is Crow and Joel and Tom Servo in the pit. We'll be at the 19th quadrant attempting a grass grinder and ground grass is a mulch and mulch is good for your lawn. Huh? That ought to hold. Oh, oh we oh, are movie star! Ah! The excitement, the action. Oh, thank you. The swing before. Oh. It's got oh. a little. Uh, you got a little on your cheek there. Ah, uh, that jelly donut kind of got away from him. <laughs> I got a feeling. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh, no. At least my car's okay. Oh, no, they stole this radio. Oh, they stole his kneecaps. Is it safe? It's not safe. It's very safe. Uh, yeah, I called my agent. I was trying to get out of this thing. It's kind of They stole his dimes. Oh, and they stole the camera dolly. It isn't safe. It isn't safe. They stole the shoulder of the road. Must find a dry cleaners. Got to. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, stop! Stop! I need a new girlfriend! <laughs> oh, thanks anyway. There's probably another car over the hill. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, I don't want to be a grown up side hacker anymore. You're <laughs> Lou. What the hell happened to you? It was Patton. He read my book. Rommel. I oh, hate to bleed and run, oh. but... Rommel, come back! Huh? You magnificent... Oh, let him go. Oh. I can talk to you, Mr. Tree. Oh. Oh, oh Magic Lock, take me to the freeway. Hmm. I come into the highway. Ooh. I need another band-aid for my broken heart. <laughs> we used to come here and club seals together. Oh. <laughs> even, even these oil fields seem to remind me of it. Can't put my finger on it. But Oh, 
think I look like Robert Conroy, don't you? For those of you playing along at home, Rita is dead. Oh, oh, oh my tiny kid. It's no fun without a girl. <laughs> already, I forgot. <laughs> Cookie. Hey, I'm getting over it already. <laughs> Just because she was murdered. Oh, brutally uh -oh. murdered. <laughs> Crammed up in this lousy motel for two weeks. I gotta get out. I can't breathe, Cooch. Hey, look, I'm a mirror. I can't talk. If I any longer, the cops are bound to find me. Look for a place I can hide. Ooh. The moon's name. Make a reservation at Grossinger's. Anywhere. Just get me out! Whoa. No one will find me here. I'll climb in a corner pocket. What are you planning to do? Eight ball, corner pocket. No, what would I'm you in do? there. Kill him. I will kill him! We talked to the police and they're out looking for JC now. And some call him Pig. It's their job, Rommel. Let them handle it. It may be their job, but what have they done so far? Nothing. Oh, there's the roads. I was... You've got to snap out of it. You've been playing nine ball all day. Play air hockey. Why don't you come back to work so you can get your mind off of it? You ever read the Bible, Luke? No, but I there's saw the movie. passage about an eye for an eye. No, I'm not much for the classics. I've only read your book, you magnificent bastard. You ever read that one? They're gonna bust you wide open. Each funny thing about that. Book, like a pinata. It contradicts itself. One minute it tells you to turn the other cheek. Then it tells you to take an eye. Well, that's when you run out of cheeks. I guess it depends on which end you read. Well, if you start from the back, it's even more confusing. Problem. You didn't have your feet on the floor. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Like I said, it depends on which end you read. I guess pool is the answer. I don't worry about my girlfriend's murder. Eight ball, corner pocket. Hey, you know, I'm playing my way through my grief. Every shot, I get better and better. Well, since this film isn't going anywhere, why don't we all play pool? Mm -hmm. Huh? Say. I found a couple of boys. They're willing to ride with us. But there's one little problem. One of them's six years old and the other's eleven. They're short on funds. They don't care what they do. As long as they get paid for. I need some money. What for? Finish these monkey bars. I'm buying myself a little help. You thought about Kelly girls? Still gonna go after JC, huh? PDQ. Yeah, ASAP. But if you think I'm going to finance your war, you're nuts. Just may work. Hey, Luke, come on, I want to talk to you. Come on over here. The director wants to do another setup. Come on. Now, I'm not asking you See to get I mean? involved. I'll give you a note to my part of the shop so that if anything happens to me, you can still get your money back. I don't give a damn about your part of the shop. If anything happened to you, your part of the shop wouldn't mean a thing now. Look, you can go fussing and hollering. How come they get louder as they get mind. closer now, to the you camera? Help me or I'll be looking someplace else. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to look someplace else. All right, I will then. Taxi? Taxi? Oh, huh. I drove. Forgot. Okay, that's uh, I go to the bank, I go to the dry cleaners, get some lunch, kill JC's gang. Salvage the film here. 
Why doesn't he just sell his car? It's the vengeance music. What can I do for you? I ran a little short this month. Give you a good deal on some tools. Don't need them. They're Wait, not for eating. With 50 bucks. I'll let you have them for 35. I just don't need them. He said you're not hey. supposed to eat them. 25. And I'll throw in my spare tire. Why didn't you say tires? We love tires. Now I'll give you five dollars if you have a hard-boiled egg in your purse. Okay. You got a ten? Yeah, I got a ten. You got a pretty nice this ten yourself, I... brother of mine. Been in the trunk a while. Well, what you're paying? I wouldn't sweat it. A little warm. All I've got is two tens. Give me those. Thanks. Not. <sighs> Now, Jake, that's all the man's got, and I gave him my word. For two hundred dollars, I wouldn't even move. I couldn't. <laughs> now, Jake, man and me. I don't even know what he Different. said. Hey, Why, smart thank mama. You. Did you ever see Big Jake break a man's back? No, but once I saw a bear drinking a soda. Uh -oh. I don't believe it. You hit me. Yep. yep. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Did you see what he did? Yeah, yeah he hit you. He, I saw he, the I whole thing, what happened. Yep. I did you hit Big Jake. Yeah, yeah he hit him. You. If you're Big Jake, I he hit you. Break your back. Oh. oh, you crushed my sternum. You made me do the hard thing. It's hot and it hurts and stuff. Oh. When do we start? Is this your way of haggling? <laughs> Two, three days at the most. <coughs> Clark, I said I'd give you $200. What is she? Oh. With me or not. Edith Mass. Always work these brushes into a fine point. You could kill a man with them. Helps bring out detail in my work. He's gonna hire a now painter? Listen. Will that bring Rita back? Paint a picture of her. It'll last longer. <laughs> That's the closest you're ever gonna get to her again. Rita? Oh yeah, dead girlfriend, right, right. She's gone. Oh I oh I I paid the devil to replace another time. Another place. Dead, bloated, worm food, you know. You don't have to worry about our hang up here anymore. Okay, like okay, to note to myself. To don't talk to an artist. All they got time to know and understand is themselves. Uh, so is that a yes? Who else you got? You don't want to hear, do you? People find their own bag. Get in it. Here's my bag under here. Oh. Right. Whoa. Yep. Hey, how yeah. did the laughing audition go? You're saying he's coming after me by himself? Yeah. And the word is out. He's buying himself some help. He doesn't think the law is doing its job. Who? Who's he buying? Nero. Two, three others. A puppet, a pauper, a pawn, and a king. Nero. Each time he finds himself flat on his, his face. Oh, you know the rest. That Rommel. He just don't learn too easy, does he? I gave him the light, man. And he just kept doing time. I tried time. to show him the way. I was like a brother to him. Not a good brother. A gooch. Gooch, tell me. It's gooch. Did I love Rommel? Hmm? Did I love him? My own flesh I don't love better! Mm. He gets this way if he doesn't kill every day. But I'm not good enough for him. How many times oh, I you got a little, little up there in He says no. Oh, mama. Could be he's trying to bring me out in the open. We'll see what kind of game he's playing. Oh, Othello? Hungry, hungry hippo? Shoot some ladders? Candyland, maybe. Uh, Mealborn? Uno? Monopoly? Risk? Trivial Pursuit? No. Oh, you're so tense. Wow. We get rid of you. Then there's no witnesses. JC, we've had enough trouble. Please, let's just get out of here. You, you dare think Marquis? I was looking for trouble? He tries to put the make on you, so I paid him back. How'd I know she was gonna die? Ah, uh, cause you Ain't killed her. Ain't that right, honey? Tell me! Ain't it right? Can you repeat the question, please, Peter? Damn you all to hell! 
Uh, yeah, everything's better now. John. Hurt is gone. I want you to get hold of the other boys. Tell them to meet me here. To bring guns, whatever they can get their hands on. We're loose fitting Set clothes. Up, Dress to move. Tonight. Have a two-minute song prepared. Cooch. Cooch, come here. That's Cooch, sir. Sit down. Take your shoes off. Sit a spell. I trust you, my friend. I trust you. We've had a lot of runs together. Yeah, remember that dinner in Tijuana? Boy, I had a run for the border that night, my little compadre. You always <laughs> stick by me. Now I need you, Cooch. I want him. You need me, yeah. but you want him? Yeah, I'll get him. No. You gotta get in. And you bring Rommel to me. Yeah, I will. I, I will, will do it. But it's gotta look right. I will. Let I him will. know where I'm hiding. I will. I will do it. Make him think you and I. I, I am, okay. I will. But they will. It's got to look right. You know I'd do anything for you, JC. I will. Would you kill a guy? Anything. I know. I know. I'll do it. And so they drove to the power station. There was nothing left of the world after the robot holocaust. I know a wiener man, he owns a hot dog stand. He gives me everything, a wiener man, a keychain failed to be. What would you say he was? <laughs> Everybody look at where I'm going after him. Uh-huh. PCH. Look at the moon. Oh, be dark out there. Oh, look how dark See, it is. See, it's really mm-hmm. something. Wow. And the crickets? Dark night. Yeah. Some crickets. If it was yeah. dark, he could. They don't even hey, have I own. said left at the Dairy Queen. I guess it was too dark. They don't even have their lights on. It's so dark out, they don't need their lights, I guess. They're breaking the law. Yeah. See, once I kill a guy, then this will become a side hack track. Yeah. What do you think? That's nice. Mm. Hey, Coach, what's the deal? We better wait here till morning. Yeah, it's too dark now. I can't see a thing. That's why I'm squinting. Why not tonight? I'm too tired. You know, J.C. likes his booze. Loves to have his fun. You hit him in the morning, he won't know what happens. Oh, well, that means he'll be really drunk right now, right? What do you say? What can I say? How about, I'm sorry? Well, I still think we should go under the cloak of darkness, but we'll do it your way. It's so dark out tonight, I mean. Yeah, I'm glad it's dark. I can't tell Trusty. my hat looks like Jiffy Pop. I don't trust anyone. Hey, his hat looks like Jiffy Pop, too. But I'll be honest. Buttered and unbuttered. <laughs> Please, Luke, don't do it. Honey, uh, let's go back on the house. Well, let's call the police from here. Honey, I owe Rommel more than a call to the police. What? What, what about me and the kids? Oh, what? kids can come, too. Bring their jammies. Please, Put them on the top of the car. It's dangerous. Don't go. Billy, don't be a hero. Look, he's sporting a Woody. Yeah, classic style. Like well, that. bye, honey. Don't wait up. I'll be dead. <laughs> right if you get work. Hey, turn your lights on. It's dark out, remember? It's dark. Idiot. This old boy got busted, see? And he gets tossed in the sink, see? Now, the first night he's there, there, his cellmate walks over know. to the bars, and he yells I'm out, suspicious. Number right. nine! Oh, not this. No, no, yeah, we know. But, it's and, uh, the chance some people can't tell a joke. Yeah. Huh? Number 12! And the whole place breaks up again, buddy. So this new boy turns to his cellmate and he no. says, Hey, man, what is with this number, bit? So the old con tells him. He says, that's the way we tell jokes around here. Uh-oh. Now, everybody here knows every joke, so we just give him a number. Yeah, yeah, and we know. And when we feel we like telling the joke, we just yell out the numbers. Yeah, I heard Kip Adada used to do a number time, one that was a... This new point. boy decides he's going to tell himself a joke. Go on. So he walks up to the bar and he yells out, Number eight! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not it. Well, that's oh. not the punchline? There's not a no. peep out of the whole cell block. There's more. I mean, uh, don't nobody lie. <laughs> well, he turns to the old con and he says, Let's just kill this guy hey, for press. How come nobody lied? <laughs> Maybe because it wasn't funny. <laughs> oh, how I loathe it. So, so the old con looks at him and he just says, Just keep listening. And he says, <laughs> uh, Try to make the most of it. <laughs> and he says, He's he not, says, not half bad. <laughs> nice beauty, <laughs> Mark. Keep him talking. I'll that hit him over the head of the rock. Some people can tell a joke in some case. And <laughs> you can. <laughs> Hey, say, did you ever hear the one about the fag and the hey, dog? 
Huh? Jay's dog. Yeah. Man, you put me on, ain't you? No, no, this guy comes to the bar, the bar with his dog, see? Is that the one where the dog pins the bar to the floor and he says, Bowsy, Wowsy? No, yeah, he says, who that. shot my paw? Yeah, I did! That was number five! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Did you ever hear about the, the stupid hillbilly that got uh, no killed stick, in the boy. desert by a bunch of you're gonna do with that bad guys? Thing. The one with the big Man, stick, right? Yeah. yeah. If Nero here rides with me, I'm gonna hold this pole out like this. I so prefer observation here. Yeah. I say the best way is hand to hand. Hit him hard and Hand to mouth. If you was built like me, you wouldn't say that. <laughs> I like feel like your idea about that machine gun. Remember oh. what Rommel said, no gun. Yeah, it wasn't a good policy for the German army. What's the matter, Coot? Afraid to die? Forget the guns. guns. Little. Who needs them? Me. That's who. Suppose that J.C. sitting down there yeah, with a Jimmy little Dean. army. A Listen, little plastic army no with army, army? Those plastic army men? There's no way for him to move. No way. Yes, yes way. way. Does and the law gets him. Maybe you got a better way, huh? Well, yes, yeah. I do. I have a, happen to have a lot of ideas. I've catered many of these events before, and uh, you'd be surprised at the provocative and useful ideas you hey, can come Rommel up with. Hey, Rommel boy! Yes, rock stupid hillbilly boy! What if this J.C. sitting down there with a little arm? Oh, sure. oh. Promise no more jokes and hey, I'll Gooch. tell you what you want to know. How many boys does he have? It's Gooch. The same. Gooch. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about, huh? What about the no, Middle East crisis? No, we can handle them easy. That's gotta bother you a little bit. Yeah. I figure JC's uh, gonna be sitting down there waiting for us. I think he knows when we're coming, too. All we gotta do is sneak in and grab him. Huh. Once I got J.C., there's no reason for his boys to fight us. Unless they want him back. Jake and me will go down first. You, what are you going to do when you get your hands on him? Uh -huh. Still thinking about it. What if you don't? Yeah, now, su now suppose he grabs you first. Then you lead. Well, then you boys are going to earn your money. <sighs> Crap out. You and Cooch take this idea. Hey, Ron. I had this idea about using this pole as a battering ram. Good now one. Nero to ride. We were thinking of using it okay. as a suppository. On you. You come in from the back side. Cause as much confusion as you can. So what else like is new? Guys Who's that you? stupid joke here? Is that out of hold Cooch, you play it by ear. Stay in between. Then betray us. Just, just, just wait a minute. Rama, boy. What the hell are we going to do if they got guns? Die, I guess. Yeah, Get sure. your butt out of there. That's a good idea. Yeah, hey, that's oh, a good we idea. Heck, no, we the know pipe thinner. That's why hey, I didn't man, think of that. <laughs> Hey, you guys, how about the slipping for Little Odd Man? What's that? Huh? I didn't want to forget oh, you. How about Little Man? Nice? Come sure on, let's right. play a Shadow of Death. And so the Apostle Peter awoke with the sun, and verily he heard a voice. A cock will cry three times before you betray Rommel. Man, I just remembered it's like 12 noon, and they still make a sleep around here. This is a really dumb camp. Right foot, left foot. Biggest damn thing in the case. Mm. Christians, mm. Greeks, fire, fiddling, Rome. We're rocks and we're smarter than this cast. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh, we better go. I'm really tired of this girl. Come on, you guys. Boy, that Rommel guy is really cool. I wish we could be more like him. Yeah, well, we can never be him. All we can do is try to emulate him and tell others the good news about Rommel. I read his book, you know, he is a magnificent bastard. Hmm. And in it, they had the patterns on how to make these super cool hats. Check them out, you guys. Gimme, gimme, gimme. They're really cool. Yeah. And there's a lot of neat things yet. I love it's good. Anyway, there's a lot of neat things you can do as Rommel, like obviously go side hacking, you know. Or you can take your refrigerator around the world. Right, that's uh, a good idea. Or you can entertain guests at your summer home. Uh, yeah, and uh, then there's running through the woods and uh, rolling down hills with your best girl, Rita. Oh, oh, man. Come on, Crow, into every life a little rain must fall. Let's try to concentrate on mo some of the more positive things here about Rommel. Oh, don't forget the fun he had playing with his mechanic pal playing pool and uh, to, to forget about his what happened to his girl Rita! Oh, 
Uh, you got to take it easy. Come on, there's still a lot of really neat stuff that Rommel did. Like, remember that time he got really crazy? Yeah. And he went into town to raise money to get those killer, uh -huh. crazed killers to go and avenge the death of his girlfriend, uh -oh. Bria. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come on, Joel, snap out of it. Joel, quick, think of something to cheer him up. Think of a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, hey, Joel. Number eight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been too tense, man. Yeah, that's a good one. That's funny. All right. Ah, uh, something coming in on the view screen. <laughs> oh, no, that's not a joke. Actually, no, no, but... really. There's a ship coming into range. <laughs> oh no, you just can't tell him the way Curl can. It's no, really he's something. right, Joel. There's a ship coming into range. <laughs> he did I it again. That just yeah. kills me. It's so funny. Wait a minute. There is a ship out there, and it's got a side hack on it. Hey, who are you? Oh, come on, Rommel, you know who I am. I'm JC from the Planet 5 the hard way. Now look, baby, our senses have indicated that you've been watching a side hack movie. Hey, which is cool, man. You know, we were even gonna bring you cats back down to Earth, but then you had to go and be like Rommel. Oh, no, no. we don't wanna be like we Rommel. We don't wanna be like Rommel. Oh, well, why are you wearing those stupid hats, baby? I don't know, what do you have against Rommel anyway? I tried to show him the way I tried to show him the light. I was like a brother to him. Now, Cooch, Cooch, tell me, did I love Rommel? Did I, huh? That's Gooch! Right, right, Gooch. Look, man, I loved him. My own flesh I don't love better. But I wasn't good enough for him. How many times I asked him to ride with me? He just said no. I want you to do something for me, Cooch. I want you to do something. I want you to get Rommel for me. Get him. Get him, man, get him. I will. All right, good. I will get him. Cool, baby. I will get him. Just get him. I will get, you get him. Go get I Rommel. Get Go get Rommel. I will. I will get him. I wonder what I they wanted. I wonder yeah. what the heck is going on. Man, I hate to say it, but for being marooned on a satellite, it's sure getting busy around here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, that Rommel guy has a lot in his mind. We're just not the types to be carrying around that kind of psychological pain and emotional baggage. Yeah. Right? yeah. You're right. Let's go watch the rest of the movie. Yeah. There's more movie? Oh, God! I knew you'd come. Number five. Oh, that was number eight, maybe. That was really funny. <laughs> we got him. You know that old rock quarry? That's where I was going to hide? The one with the tin shack? You tell Rommel that's where I'm hiding. You bring him there in the morning. The rest of us will be waiting. What for? I had a hard time getting out of there. Cooch. Coochie, coochie, cooch. cooch. You're my back. Uh, he's insane. I Not everything he says head. has to make sense, you know. Uh -huh. up yours. And we'll be right back after this message. <laughs> we got him, honey. Yee. I got him. Great. Great. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Uh, you kiss like a duck. Uh, mm. Honey, your, your mere touch makes me physically ill. Don't talk with your mouth full. I feel my lunch is coming up. I've got to get away from you. All of a sudden, you got to get away, hon? Where do you think you're going to go? I met a nice guy on, called Ike me. Turner. You don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, you know. You were dying for me to take you out of that one horse town. He's from Chicago. You know, sometimes I think you're crazy. What would you do without me? I guess she'd heal. I don't know, but at least I wouldn't have to be doing anything I didn't feel. Uh oh. Uh, oh, that hurt. That was a romantic don't. Maybe you better explain more about those feelings. And uh, be specific. Use specific examples. I met you. In fact, you seem to like the whole scene. Are you trying to tell me we were playing some kind of game in bed? Yeah, Parcheesi, and I lost a lot of my game pieces. Now I want out. 
I don't know who I despise more, you or myself. Or the devil or, or Chuck Woolery. Is that a bad time? Jeez. Jeez. Suppose you like it when Rob tore you apart, huh? Huh? Or maybe it was the other way around. Huh? You don't have a healthy Get relationship. Get out. Get out. Oh. Or was it the other way around? Um. Hmm. Could you let go of my windpipe? I'm supposed to leave. Group Team 37. I can't believe it, Wally Carbo. That's an illegal hold. That's an automatic three-day suspension. Well, I'm really glad it's just a movie. They're just actors. The money's in the... <laughs> Cops has filmed on location. Do things you can't feel. What'd you say that? JC is wanted by the FBI. What'd he should be considered that? armed and stupid. <laughs> Dad, uh, tell me about the rabbits, George. I don't like it when you say things. Like I think that. they're communicating a lot better now. You didn't mean it, did you? Nah. I know you're sorry, baby. I'm not mad. I'm just drawn that way. Come on, baby. Talk to me. Talk now that you're me, dead, baby. I can tell you about a thousand wonderful Talk hours we went. Say hello to the folks, Bobby. Hello, folks. I will kill you. Oh, oh, I guess I did. Slow, slow, plug, plug. Slow, 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 slow plug. plug. Hey, nice sweater. Slow, slow, plug, slow. Huh. He really is bad. Oh, he's biting his nails. That's really disgusting. You're no better than J.C. if you go through with this. Luke, I'm going to tell you something. It's easy for you to come out here preaching to me about what I should or shouldn't do. And what you There's shouldn't wear. It wasn't Lois. Uh, Tony Tenille wants her hat back. But maybe you're right. I don't know. But give yourself some time and think it out. McLeod! There's only one thing I can think about. Uh, my next line? J.C. Hey, Rob. You magnificent son of a... Cooch is back. And there's gonna be trouble. Hey, la, li, la. Is it oh, still dark? Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm Cooch. We're gonna go hide. And I'm a little rabbit. And I'm gonna cover myself up and leave my little butt hanging out. Yeah. Well, let's go kill him. Good morning, dummy. Wake up and die. Huh? Nobody oh, hi. Oh, yeah. You trust him? What? What? What did I do? What? what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> what do you want? Guys. What's the bet? <laughs> What's the deal? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I go to the bush and you guys make a big deal out of it. Yeah, we went to the bush <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> oh, boy. We've been sitting here for over an hour waiting for you. <laughs> you moonlighting on us, boy? Read the magazine. Cheese, you know. I say he's a spy. I think he's a sailor. Is that true, boy? Huh? You setting us up? It's a bad joke. <laughs> yeah, you know, number 12. <laughs> hey, what are you guys trying to do? Hmm. Wear this you hat. Can't. Here, I'll find out. <laughs> this ought to jog his memory. Oh, you got something to say? Ah, pull me down, you son of a bitch! Ah, uh, no, that's the wrong answer, but thanks for playing. Easy, Cooch. Ah! Let's go. Here, crap out. Catch! You guys are crazy! Oh! True, boy, true. Don't you do that! Rumble! You're magnificent, oh, no, son of a. Oh, ah. Wait, you guys! Uh, you gonna tell me where he is? Nothing to tell. I went to the brush! No, no. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where is he? I don't know where he is. There's nothing to tell. I swear. I got no else to go. I got no. Oh. 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 I'm a lot smarter now. Thanks. Rock quarry. Rock quarry. He told me to bring you there in the morning. You're a little on your nose. What's he gonna do after we get there? Uh, have a late know. breakfast. All he told me was to bring you there. That's all. Did he uh, say anything about what time? 
I like to be prompt. Got my time up. And don't be afraid to use a granny knot. I'm so glad you come back, old buddy. Never met a spy before. Uh, just tie him up, make it snappy. Look, I, I'd like you to do me a favor. We really are good friends, aren't what? we? Uh, stand a little closer. I mean, I finally got through to you. Yep, you finally got through to me. Yeah. Well, it's about time. Let's get the hell out of here. Now I know where he's at. I'm not letting him get away. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but don't you start nothing. I'll be back in an hour or so. Okay, I won't start nothing. I promise. We'll meet you at the rock quarry, okay? Okay. Yeah. Then things got really weird. Acid Canyon. Now this is how you do a monkey, and uh, you crouch a little lower to do an orangutan. Just as I suspect. This is where they shot the Love Shack video. Oh. Pitiful. And a little on the. I got a bike that's as big as a whale. <laughs> Get him with a ten-foot pole. That'll work really well. Yeah. Mmm. Moose track. Two, three-day-old. You think you've got problems? I'm not even supposed to be in this film. Gary Collins, today at four on Our Magazine. Hey, it's Cheech Mar. Huh. Poison still fresh. I'm a little rabbit. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> It's the cap snaffler. It really, really works. Oh, don't grab his gun. No guns. Uh-uh. No bongos. Uh, is it hot out here, or is it just me? No sweaters. Not allowed. I'll just walk under the cover of this air here. Set my own trap, then I go after him. Out a little fire, Scarecrow. Shot with a tomato gun. Ooh. No drumming. Not, Not allowed. Hey, they're playing Indicata De Vida. How annoying. Soylent Green is made from people! Oh! Yeah, I'm quick on the draw. Nice, huh? Yikes. Hmm. Hey, old boy, I never did think this thing would work. Ouch. Come on, now, let's go! Let's move it! Yeah. Yeah. Get me a gun. Hey, they're riding number 15. That reminds me of a joke. Number 16. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish that was the director there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, I just changed my policy. Everybody use guns. <laughs> Number 16. <laughs> and if the bullets don't kill him, I, the music will. Yeah. Uh, more dead people. Funny, huh? Yeah. Neat. Got him again. Amazing. Came out of his tuck too early. Yeah. Too bad about having to die like that. Yeah. Our contractual obligation in this movie is over. No guns. What the heck was I thinking? Huh. Uh, yeah. I'll just hide behind these blades of grass here. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, that's gonna help. Okay, okay, I've got to remember that I'm crazy. Note to myself, load guns before killing spree. Yeah. That's right, pretend you're hurt. Oh. Oh. Um. Honey lips. What are we gonna do now, lover? Oh, what's that supposed to mean? You coming on to me? It's the end of the line! Hmm. I never met a general before! Why don't you come on over? We can get acquainted! Yeah. <laughs> You're not talking! And that hurts me! We never talk anymore! You're so distant! Where's the love? I've nothing to say! I'm sorry! Wait, what am I apologizing for? Oh. This isn't gonna take a lick and keep on ticking. Huh? Only you understand me. <sighs> You said that. I'm coming out! I'm coming out and I don't have any jewelry or accessories. I am Kirok. Just you and me! And a dog named Boo! Join me and all this can be yours. So, it's been a while. Hmm. Good to see you again and all. Hey, what's been going on ever since uh, you and I said, Oh! Oh, why didn't I get out of his way? Oh. <laughs> Group Team 37, I should have known. Oh. There he goes. Oh, there's a foreign object in that ring. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, 12,000 miles away, Akron's best speed toward the hills of Southern California. Oh, oh, Andy, fast. Hmm. Oh, that's my sore arm. Oh, 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 that's no fair. Oh, my, oh. Whoa. Oh, it hurts. Hi, Kiba. Hi, Kiba. Oh, that'll teach you to fall under a conveniently placed cable. Uh, so you think I need bridge work, huh? Oh, okay. Uh. Now I love you. Are you gonna sit down and work this thing out, or what? Oh, oh with a karate chop to the head, the neck, the body. A lot of grunting going on. Uh, I always did love you. Uh, and he missed. They're in a rut. Ah. I'm I'm sorry. What'd you say? Yeah. Come, come over to this other rut. That's better, isn't it? Oh, you took my thumb, Charlie. You took my thumb, Charlie. Hi, uh, Charlie. Meanwhile, on the plains of Nebraska, the car speeds forward. Oh, oh. that had the sting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one really hurt. Oh, you crushed ow. it. You crushed ow. it. It hurts and stuff. Oh. Throw him to the ground, Centurion. You're lucky my chick's not here, you know that? Well, okay, you bum. But if you do it again, you get more of the same. We didn't figure this into the formula. Oh! Okay, Paul! Oh, oh bro. What? Oh, I hope this good. doesn't happen when you die. That so would really be absurd. It's all supposed to be a dream here. What does that um, happen? So, I guess there's not going to be any more side hacking, huh? I don't think so. Side hacking on a coffin, maybe. Uh, a side coffin. coffin. 
a coffin. It's possible. Oh, that's, that's Didn't clever. the Munster's car used to have a side coffin? On well, the uh, Grandpa drove a coffin. Yeah. That was the dragster one, and then there was the big town car yeah. one. Yeah. Are you trying to change the subject? No. No. Arm of crust. Holy love. I can't do it. That's the film. This film was also released as Million Dollar Legs. I thought so. Is that Ginger Rogers there or something? Most of her scenes were cut. Yeah. That's the film. Where's those Tessier sisters again? Well, we better get out of here. Yeah. Man, our job is the done. The Tessier Goyles. <laughs> get in. Film. Yeah. Talk about nihilism. That's the second film in a row that had the hero die in the end. Boy, we're never going to snap out of this existential dilemma. Oh, I was afraid this would happen, so I brought this thing along. But Joel, why was the movie so bad? Yeah, it was cool in the beginning with the side hacking, then it went right down the drain and they had to pad out the rest of the film with all that killing. Oh no, Crow. It wasn't killing that padded out the film. No? Only love pads the film. When stories were young and dreams were not done And sorrow was so far away A storybook scene with songs to be sung and life, life was just for today. Oh, sure. But nothing lasts forever. Only love adds the film of all. The film. Joel, may I? Please. The plans that you made were two horses walk. Hearts now will still grow in the wind. Crow. You give or you take a day in the sun. But even the sun. Must ascend. Everybody now. Come on. But nothing lasts forever. forever. <laughs> Only love has the fill of all. That's the film. Oh, Jips. Man, scientists are calling, and now we better get going. Um. <laughs> Listen to them up there. Singing and dancing their dear little hearts out. Oh, those poor, I'm gonna bring them down. Oh, why don't we invite the entire King family in here? <laughs> oh, and the cow shows them up with people. Oh, never mind. Don't you have some letters to read, Pink Boy? Yeah, of course, I got them right here. Um, let's see, Cam, I'll put this one up on the screen. Oh, it's just print, but they should see it anyway. For Joel, Tom, Servo, and Crow. Hey. I'm 13 years old, and my family loves your show a lot. Every time we watch it, we can't stop laughing. Aww. Uh, the best I like is the nice tag or nice dive and the bot sitcom. Well, you might need a calculator, he says. You remember that when you said <laughs> oh, yeah. the twins? No. And when Tom Servo Crow, sometimes Gypsy play when they have to tell something good and play bad about the movie for Graham chips. No, oh, he thought they're. Chips. He thinks they're no, called Graham chips. Oh, no, no, Graham no, chips. No, uh, no, not but yet. Anyway, uh, Anyway, that's from With Laughs from Chris Tackett. Maybe we could do a good thing and a bad thing about that letter. You got a good oh, thing to say? Oh, the good thing is, well, oh, I'm, I'm just so full of love right now, I can't say a bad thing. What about Chris, you? I got a bad thing you. to say about that letter? Ah, uh, 
The printing's nice. Okay. Uh, That's a bad thing? Uh, oh, yeah. Plus. Oh, okay. You've seen Joel right. Anyway, let's put that, Cambo, let's put the address up on the screen and Tom Servo do the mighty voiceover, please. Okay. Send your letters to the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Information Club at Post Office Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota. Zip is 55343, and we love you. Okay, and the next one, Cam, I'll put this one up on Still Store. Oh, This nice. one says, Dear Go, which is Joe, Serbo, and Crow. Hey. I really like SF, and I don't mean San Francisco. Huh? <laughs> little joke. And there. I like Tom Servo best. It's Tom Servo, by the way. Thank you very much. Because he's cute. Aww. I like Crow because he always makes me laugh. Aww. I would really like for another robot to be on the show, but not a boy or girl. I would like her to look like, P.S. I drew a picture on the back, but I want one girl for Crow. Here yeah, she is. me and too. One, one for you, Joe. Uh, but it's kind of just Gypsy, a redesign of Gypsy. We've already got a girl here, you silly. We anyway, love Gypsy. Anyway, guess that ought to do it. What do you think, sirs? I think I liked it. Well, until next time, Joel Hackerson. Go ahead, Frank, push the button. I will. We'll push it. I will push the button. Push the button, Frank. I will Go push ahead. the button. Just push the button. I will. Push. I will. Make one of these. I will push the button. And do this. I will push the button. <laughs> <laughs>